Welcome back, everyone. This is Beast Row Butkina 7. And Alex. And Crimson Moon. And this is more Dr. Evil's Mega Complex. In the last part, we were hunting for more secrets, I believe, so. It seems we've hit pretty much a dead end in trying to figure out any secrets, so. Well, there's the checkmates level, so at least we can do that for now, which is what we're gonna do. So, for what I'm getting, for one, there's a bunch of rooms to the right, which are puzzles. And there's also more rooms where, well, it seems like there's gonna be lights out and chest related puzzles. Did I say that already? But yeah, whatever, so. Clever puzzle things. Oh, wait a minute. How does that work? Uh, it looks like some sort of. South. Oh, does that mean we have to. <laughs> hmm. Oh, jeez. That looks complicated. <laughs> it does. Also gives me the impression that we might be... Wait a minute, is there anything to the east? No. Oh uh, yeah, pit edge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got fooled again. Okay. Wait, what's that scroll say? It was the Dear Beast will let the arrangement... Okay, let's just rotate it. Okay. Yeah, nothing to care about here. Alright, let's uh, kill at least some seed. I mean, at least that can be considered... Partially productive. What does that say? Oh, uh, Doctor Evil's personal chess diary. Well, it froze for me. Okay. So today the computer made a fatal blunder. I can finally beat him with my next move, but that will have to wait for now. Oh. Okay, we can't get to that one arrangement of C. Oh, silly. Oh, there's something to the north. There's nothing. Okay. Alright, so to the east. Okay, the seep are on the tile over there, so. This is still lights out. I guess we could try to solve that if we can find that solver. I'm working on it. Alright. Should probably put a link in it in our Skype chat for future <laughs> reference. Although I yep. think that'll be the last time we'll need it. Otherwise, there's a night store. So... Alright, so 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, this... I think we've done something similar to this. Um, mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, let me see if I can get these both on screen at the same time. Oh, and this is going to be rotated. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, it's, it's the same thing, so it's just sure. an 8x8. Eight eight. Yep. So, okay. Uh, at the beginning, mm -hmm. you want to hit the top uh, four orbs in a diamond pattern. The top four orbs, okay, like this? Yes, exactly okay. like that. Right. Uh, do that in all of the corners. Alright. Um, okay. And then, let's see, how do I describe this? Um, well, you could put, you could link the image. I could. That's... No, I think this will work. Okay, so in the row that B throws in right now, you want to hit the middle three orbs. The middle three rows, okay. Mm hmm. Alright. Then in the next row, uh, wait, hang on, how does that work? Yeah, next row, uh, all of the orbs except the outer ones again. Okay, yeah, that starts to look like something. I guess repeat at the bottom. Yep. Now what? Let's see. So if you've done that... If I turn my head, will this make sense? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we did this row, then this row, then the next one is going to be... Um, all but the outer two. Yep. Okay, Okay. this one? Yes. Uh, okay. That should be right, but it doesn't look right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I wish this weren't rotated. That makes it so much more confusing. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it in rotated space. That'll be a little bit easier. Um, and I guess that probably means starting over. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, so two by two squares in each corner. Mm-hmm. Um... I don't like how this is making me tilt my head in order to see yeah. things correctly. 
<laughs> so then I'm going to count down as if you're at the top row now. Okay. Uh, so in row... Uh, so here? Yeah, okay. So you're in the top row now. In the next row... Okay, uh, the to other... The, okay. mm-hmm, to the south um, east. Yeah, the next row to the southeast. You next want to hit the center, the two orbs. Okay, that. So, yeah, step northeast once. Northeast once. And then press Q. Press Q. Okay. <laughs> Oh wait, that was the wrong key. Okay, press W, I guess. Okay. And then step northeast. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, so we'll do that in every other corner. No, let's let's just stick with that. It'll be a little easier. Okay. Uh, so Person. go down a row. Okay. Um, and expand that pattern by one, basically. So hit the one that's to the yep. And then there. Uh huh. Exactly like that. Uh, okay. So now we do go- that to the bottom two, I think. Uh, let's just go to the next row and okay. expand that pattern by one more. <laughs> so spread out more. Like yes, that one. Mm-hmm. No. No. And then just go down and mirror that. So same thing on the next row, then shrink and shrink. Okay. Uh, not that one. Uh, that one. That one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Boom. There we there go. go. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a head cramp from all that. <laughs> okay, alright, so. How am I supposed to get out of there? Oh, okay, not so yeah, that's okay. Alright, well, that's one room we cleared at least. These are getting less yep. annoying now. So now it's a night store puzzle, uh, the queen thing, and, uh, yeah. Night store. Gonna solve it for that, or just try to logic it out. <laughs> <laughs> this one I have no idea. Uh, well, I guess we can start by trying stuff out. Hmm. How does this work? What does each orb do? Okay, each orb opens up the next moves that a knight would make in chess. So basically, this orb will open up these uh, two. Okay. And uh, this uh, this one will open up those, and so on and so forth. Why do you need to use any of the orbs at all? To drop all the trapdoors to open up. What's what's stopping you from just stepping on all the trapdoors as it is? I don't yeah. I don't see the obstacles. Yeah, he's right. You can just diagonal through all the... Yeah, actually... What... I think that was overlooked when he made this. <laughs> oh, I think there might be... Yeah, the two mimics have to go like that. Oh, orthogonal movement. Ew. No. You could have just used ortho squares. <laughs> Damn it, Zek and Kalor. You could have made this so much more simple in Journey to Rooted Hold, even. <laughs> uh, so complicated. Okay, well, in any case. Uh, oh, can't you? Oh, oh, yeah. I got it. Okay, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Well. So, if I'm understanding this, this is basically a lights out puzzle, but with night moves. Well, yeah, kind of. A knight's out puzzle, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the one way to put it. Well, uh, okay, so how, what's the strategy for this? I, I know I did that puzzle in uh, the Palace of Puzzles already. At least, I remember that being true. There's no solver for this one, I'm pretty sure, so we're on no, our own. It's a pretty popular puzzle, so um, I think there'd be a few solvers at least. I think I think you might want to go for the uh, corners first. Just maybe. I'm thinking well, that perhaps. Well, the original Knights Out puzzle, you don't like move every. You don't like hit every square at once. Like you go one at a time, so it's really easy. Yeah. But this Knights Out puzzle is more of a lights out version. Uh, actual Knights Out puzzle, or like. Next door. <laughs> Nice story. <laughs> yeah, the pun got engra- engraved the... in our brains as the truth. Now we can only think of it as the pun. 
It's been ruined forever. <laughs> Shall forever be the night's night sock puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're kind of forced to go on the outer bounds. Yeah. The Wikipedia page for Knight's Tour has an animated GIF that shows exactly how to do it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see if this leads anywhere. It probably won't, but. Yeah. Try. It looks only moderately complicated. Yeah. Does that mean the queen puzzle is also going to be a lights out puzzle? Uh, I guess in a way it is. If you look, if you look at it that way. <laughs> uh, okay, from here I guess we kind of have to go here. Then there. Right. Oh no, I have one more place I can go. Now am I stuck? Nope, I have one more place I can go. Oh! So now I can just go there. Oh, I can get back. Okay, so I will. Mm. There's no checkpoints in this room, too. <laughs> of course there wouldn't be. Why would uh, Why would they want to be friendly? They they're all in that one room. It's an active sabotage attempt now. I tell you, there what? Okay, things might actually have worked. Oh, okay. Now I'm understanding how this room is. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, I think we're done. Alright, I, I figured it out, I think. Cool. Yes! Yay, I did it with uh, luck. I guess the trick <laughs> to that is just to kind of go around the outers as much as possible at first. Now it's uh, this thing's turn. So the point of this is to have a square open in each row, but all the squares, vertical, horizontal, and diagonal will be closed. So we have to find a pattern that will allow all of these to coexist as, as one. Which may be trickier than it seems. I'm gonna try like an offset kind of thing, but probably won't work. Okay, so offset by Oh, oh. Wait, no, the second rule shut down. What did that happen? So then when I did that, no. Oh, I think I see how to do it. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, you one in there so far. So now open this. Nope. That. No. Oh boy. That's the worst one yet. Okay, yeah, this is not looking very good. I can chime in if you want to try another pattern. Yeah, sure. Alright, so if you were to start over and do the. Okay, so bottom left, right that there. Yeah. Then up two and to the right by one. That. Uh, no, other way around. <laughs> I mean, I guess that could work too, but, uh, so, from the bottom, two to the north, one to the east. From the, this one, no, the other one? Uh, sorry, counting by, uh, the tiles. So four to the north, one to the east, counting by orbs, if that makes sense. Um, so this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's two to the east, one to the north. I want two to the north, one to the east. Okay, that one. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Do that again. And then one more time. Uh, uh, then back on the, let's see, second from bottom row. You'd want the one that's, yes, one? that one. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. uh, and then just continue okay. the pattern upward again. Yeah, that might work. No. Uh, yeah, that seems to work. No. Cool. It doesn't. Oh, wait, doesn't it? Nope. Oh, uh. I'm thinking maybe. You ended up in opposite this, corners, I see. Oh. And then that. No, that's also gonna close it. 
Yeah, that's the thought I had back when I actually tried to solve that puzzle. Like, I thought, oh, yeah, let's go with the knight's pattern thing, but then I remember that not working. And then... So everything except the last diagonal. Hmm. So we offset that thing then? I want, perhaps? That actually might work. Yeah, if you start in the second row. Maybe. Do it? No, it didn't. It just closed another one. Okay, what if I do that? Followed by this. No. That. Ugh. I don't like these kinds of puzzles. They're too puzzle for me. <laughs> so you get one in each row and one in each column. Yep. But you just the uh, the pattern the puzzle is to figure out the interference pattern of diagonals and do something about it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I missed. I'm doing. I'm trying to do one. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a lot of solvers for this one as well because that's another popular puzzle. Well, I'm trying to. Yeah, I have a little thing that. A little program that does an interaction with it. Mm -hmm. Without looking, it says there's 92 solutions, so... <laughs> okay. That's good to know. I wish this would show, though... I have another pattern that I think will work. I'm trying to test it out on paper first. All right. Although if you wanted to try it here, <laughs> we could also do yeah, that. Yeah, that would actually probably be a lot, a lot more easy to do it. That sure. Uh, okay, so start the same way you started the other pattern. Okay, um, so here? Uh, restart, actually. Oh, actually, I, yeah, it does, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, so instead of going up two, go up three and over one. Up one, two, three. Uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, just like that. Do that again. Okay, so from here, one, two, three. Uh, yep, just like that. Uh -huh. Then for the next column, I did the third from the bottom, so to the north of where you are now. Uh -huh. Then follow the pattern again, up two over one, or sorry, up three over one. Uh -huh. Uh then for the next column that would be this one not that one um uh, the one uh, the second okay one more to the east yeah yes okay that seems to work so far and... yeah i don't think that has the same problems yes mm, oh it does I though still oh. end up up here though it's the exact same thing hmm. wait now that's a jump of two. Wait, I did, I did a jump of... Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Jump of three, jump of three, jump of three. Wait, this is, is this a different jump that I did? Yeah, because I did one, two, three, f I jumped four here. Uh... Supposedly, if we take into account wrapping. Sure, yeah. I think that's the same problem where we were landing in before, though. Let's go up one, two... Yeah, now we end up uh, wrapping back. Okay, one, two, three, 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 we end up here now. Hmm.
Alright, guess I'll go back to my paper then. <laughs> <laughs> keep getting seven. Seven? Yeah, I keep getting seven queens, but then I can't place an eighth. Okay, I'm gonna try something. This. That. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're fine. That now that ends up wait hold on okay so we have one oh is this one that closes that okay that's not gonna work this wait a minute I'm having a thought now. This, shoot, that, this. If I could make that work into another pattern in the north, I could make, I could solve this. So this, no, that, no. Oh, this doesn't work. So all projecting diagonally onto these tiles. I think there needs to be an asymmetry at some point. Like, just doing a repeating pattern is going to run into the same problem each time, it seems. Mm If we were to do the uh, jump by five instead, one, two, three, four, five. So that one, no. Let's try that one instead. It ends up just being kind of the same thing. If I were to do that instead, hmm, would be interesting. Nope, I just shut down. One of them. Why are queens so picky? <laughs> That's the problem with monarchies. They only they, seem... they, they don't want to share space with others. Yeah. And that's stopping <laughs> us from solving this room. See, this is why democracy works better. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Any luck uh, on, on anyone's hand? I might have something. I haven't quite made it work yet, though. I'm thinking maybe we should just go through the paths instead of doing wasting our time on these puzzles. Maybe in the meantime we could like try to work out the solution, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I keep getting one short for Queen. Yeah. Twenty three minutes into this video though, so <laughs> might as well uh, might as well tough it out until the end of the video and then we can continue through the chessboard and get back to this later. If we don't solve it in the next five minutes, that is. Which I don't think we will. Mm. I don't know. I need, I need a solver. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm thinking to just bring out a solver because. I, I think I have it. Let me just verify. Right. Oh, no, I have two on the same diagonal. Never mind. <laughs> ah. Ah. I think I, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's a, it's a cheap move, but let's just bring out the solver already. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, Palace of Puzzles, I've done a bunch of these traditional puzzles, and I just don't really enjoy them too much. Well, um, I have 92 solutions here. Which one do you want? <laughs> all right, give me one of them. <laughs> um, all right. So, since is this frozen for me? Well, no. just uh, just say uh, which ones in each row. 
Okay, so the first row, the top left. Top left? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The second row, five to the right. So starting on the left side, five okay. to the right. Next. The third row, the far right. Mm -hmm. The fourth row, three from the right side. Three from the right? Yeah. Okay. Um, the fifth row, three from the left side. Three from the left, okay. Uh, sixth row, two from the right. And two from the left, the next row. Okay, and then the last one would be yeah. the fourth one. Yes. All right, that worked. Wow, well, there is no regularity to that pattern at all. No, not even. <laughs> this is really... Doesn't look anything like the solutions I was trying. Yeah, honestly, the thing with these puzzles is that there's really just no way aside from trial and error to really piece together a good solution to them. Mm -hmm. Which is why I don't like them too much, to be honest. The fun thing too is actually most of the solutions don't put a queen in the corner. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we cleared one room. I guess we have time to go see if we can clear more rooms. <laughs> uh, getting pretty short on time, though, so I guess we'll figure out where we're supposed to enter this stupid chessboard. Seems like it's right. Yeah. And uh, then we, can see, we shall begin our pathway through. So I guess we'll outro here for now. This has been Bethrow by Kenneth 7 with Dr. Evil's chess mess. And in the next part, I'll get killed by a seep on uh, first turn. <laughs> and uh, aside from that, I guess we'll also be going through the checkerboard. So until that happens, I'll, I guess, uh, have a nice one. See ya. Bye.